This is Danny with Quad Lux, and I wanted to show you a, a couple of different ways you can build your XL or your Mini XL Quad. Um, one way is the conventional way, or the way we've been doing it, um, where the uh, controller goes on the top, and you can, you know, mount a uh, uh, Mobius here. You can have your um, uh, FPV transmitter here. You can also mount here for a camera or put the Mobius there and the same thing with the uh, transmitter. I'm sorry. Or the same thing with the transmitter. Here, plenty of room to mount cameras. And we also have a uh, gimbal attachment that we're working on where you'll actually be able to uh, put a GoPro on this and fly it around with a uh, two-axis gimbal on it. So uh, a lot of things in the works for this. Also you might notice that you know our uh, we'll have on the site here really really soon the um, wood replacement in carbon. So we'll have two options, the wood of course and carbon. Um, and this uh, particular one is built with carbon. So and the side rails and carbon. So I'm um, using a combination of uh, carbon and wood. And because of the conductive qualities of carbon, uh, which are really good, um, I like using wood and carbon. It gives a good mix and it's good for vibration and also with the electronics being mounted on the wood, it it's, uh, helps out a little bit. And of course with the uh, antennas. Uh, or any interference with the antennas. So that's with the carbon. Now the other way we can build it is for the top deck to be completely clean and I call this the top deck. You can mount a camera here again as with the other one and uh, basically anything you want to mount on it if anything at all. You still have room for your uh, camera and your Mobius underneath if you want to put it there. But uh, let's take a quick look at it. We're using a 4-in-1 ESC with this. But with the ESCs getting smaller and smaller, um, and we'll have some uh, information coming out on that pretty soon, um, that you can, with them getting smaller and smaller, I mean, you can use individuals and, you know, put them pretty much any place. But the only thing we've done different with this build here is that body mount, uh, or, or the uh, body support lugs rather, are put together a little bit differently. The body support lugs are put together like this. And then we cut one of the tabs off. And by doing that, that's this tab that's down here that we remove. And if you watch the build video for this, you'll see on there where we show that. On the revised build, they go together like this. We still need to cut one tab because now we have no tab at the bottom and no tab at the top. We're just using the tab here in the middle. So they go together like that. Now if you don't have the uh, body support lugs without the dimples, you just need to you know, sand these dimples down and uh, same thing on the top, on this one here, and uh, put it together like that. And there's one other thing is that you're going to have this piece of wood here. And that's to mount your ESC on. On the original, if you watch the build video, the ESC is actually mounted to the two outside rails. But on this one, to give us that extra layer, we there's a piece of wood in here and I think uh, you can measure it if you build it this way. I think it's like an inch and a half wide and four inches long and it screws onto that tab that we left and when we put the uh, body support lugs together differently it afforded us to have this uh, tab here and you put four screws in and then your ESC fastens to it. It can be removed at any time to get to your controller, which now your controller is going to be mounted on the bottom. And um, the only thing when you mount the controller to the bottom, you can't have any um, 
connections from the top, they all have to be from the side or soldered. But, um, you know, you can do that with uh, most any of the controllers and they uh, seem to fit real well. So it's a good way of doing it. Controllers at the bottom this way, the ESC is here. You have plenty of ventilation for it and it gives you a nice clean look on top. So different way of building it, works really, really good. And uh, as always, all the quad lakes fly extremely well. I haven't put the uh, Velcro for the battery yet on either side. But I just finished this build and I want to get it over to you in case you're uh, in the process of doing a build and you want to do it a little bit different. Works really well, looks really clean. Um, I think you'll like it. But uh, give it a try. We're doing this now on most all of our quads where we're putting the uh, ESC on a layer here underneath the top deck and we're putting a, uh, the controller either below or the ESC below and the controller on top. And we'll have some videos coming out on the other quads as uh, we get them ready. The next I think we're going to be doing is the 380 and the 380 Sport. We're doing the same type uh, setup with it. But anyway, just wanted to let you know, really clean looking. Looks really nice this way. We're going to fly it quite a while and then we may go ahead and uh, just uh, put this as a way of doing it from now on. But anyway, this is Danny with Quad Likes. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to share this with you and uh, we'll see you next time.